when I tell y'all, like pushing through work the past couple days. Like, I remember it was like years ago now, but I had food poisoning, like the kind that you throw up, can't keep water down, you're passing out, you're fainting, you're dizzy, all that. I think I don't have those symptoms because it was off of a drink, but it's like, Like, my, um, I definitely had the shivers and a fever. Like, my body was trying to heal itself. It's like, what's happening to your body? Time to heal it. And then started having, like, rib pain. Still got it, but it's a lot better than what it was a couple days ago. Child, this is not fun. Mind you, I don't like missing work if I necessarily don't have to. With stuff like this, like especially when I'm when I know I'm able to be functional even though I feel crappy. You know, I still try to go in even if I do a half day. I didn't do a half day today. I'm not sure since I'm feeling better, I'm not sure if I would need a half day tomorrow. But this is it's not okay. And I want to call the establishment that I was at, actually, because it's bothering me. Like, as the days go on, it's bothering me. Because, as you saw in the last vlog, I kind of, um, with Chad, kind of talked about it. I almost went in, but I didn't. Because the customer service was not there. I didn't like it. I don't care how busy you are. I don't know if it's a prejudice thing. I don't know. But Chad seemed like he couldn't do anything, okay? And it took him so much time just to see if they had an ingredient in stock. And it made me, because it's just like, why are you not attentive? You know what I mean? So uh, that I, th that's the main reason why I want to call. But and you also made me sick. Because you gave me an expired mixed drink that you couldn't even make in the first place because you didn't have all the ingredients but you said you tried you know what i mean like this is the stuff that people get sued for because if i was to, if i was to have even worse symptoms like you know what i mean like people don't consider that but whatever i'm gonna just chill probably pick up the camera in a couple of days, hopefully I'm 100%, but truthfully, like, it, it is not okay. And I truly don't know how to feel about it. Because me being down and out, mind you, when I was younger, I used to get sick all the time. But now, you know, that I'm being more aware of my health and everything... When I do get down bad, it hurts like shit. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to just. <sighs> I don't know if I need to go to sleep. Because if I take a nap now, I'm going to be up all night. I don't know if I'm going to be hurting all night like I did last night. But thank God I'm not vomiting. Thank God I'm not dizzy. Thank God I am functional. Even though it's food poisoning. <laughs> gotta, gotta give thanks for the little stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This is how we're starting off the vlog. I already told y'all, y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna get... Y'all gonna get all the sides. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Because it's truly my life. Yeah. So let me take the time. Probably a couple of days or a few days from now. And let me pick back up. <laughs> the camera. And 
of course what's on 100% again but this is this is my current state I'm actually surprised that I'm not um, more flushed out and you know like you know you get pale in the face definitely had the clamminess going on too but I think that's over with I even got bloat, like, oh, I am a whole mess right now, but it's okay, then restore, back to health, and then it's back to the regular scheduled program, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Listen, winner, winner, chicken dinner, okay? On the side here, okay? You don't see the shoe, little cam, little cameo. It was $8. Mind you, I'm a six and a half in shoes, sneakers in particular. I can do size five to eight shoe depending on the make, okay? These are the shoes, okay? Now, getting to the lip. These sets, mind you, I bought five of them. That was the limit that you could do. And I didn't care. I said, give me five of them. Do you see the thumb holes? Okay, first off. Second off, the, the ribbing. <laughs> Are you joking? Top tier, it, it is thermal. Like for five dollars. I'm gonna need the door to get out the way of the magnificentness. I'm not I'm not gonna turn around because the the thing is dangling. Okay. But this is going to be my fall going out, walking, going back out, walking again type out what it is and I'm gonna have like stuff what's that called I'm either gonna have my trainer underneath or some extra like clothing to keep me extra warm because <laughs> and you already know the fanny pack we keep it hands free most times around here okay so I need to actually go to Walmart heading there now so, you want to come along with me? We'll see. Come on. It's, it's the fall winter blues kicking in for me. I, this season sucks for me. Like the winter, because I'm in a place where we have nine months winters. It's cohesive to the fall. from that field I was able to diagnose and everything but it's not to the point where I never feel hopelessness I never feel to the point like all the symptoms right I just live in America and in a place where there's barely any sun for three-fourths of the year.
that simple for people that are, you know, so grounded and want things to work out where they're at and, you know, everybody say, take that leap of faith, but, you know, you gotta have finances to keep that and have that uh, leap of faith. It's just realistic shit, you know? I'm not with the fake. <laughs> so, could I thrive in another city? Sure. Could I find an area that's more sunny? Sure. But that also means more earthquakes, more tornadoes, more hurricanes, more all of this, right? It's just, it's a pros and cons type of thing. I think I'd rather be cold <laughs> than to deal with the destruction. Now, mind you, snow is very destructive, very destructive very tragic I'm just I'm just picking whether do I want tropical chaos or cold chaos and I'm gonna pick cold chaos for now I guess if I have to pick the <laughs> to me that's the lesser of both evils because they're they're insane especially with the weather now with all the climate change or whatever now mind you somewhere on the screen will be a scripture pertaining to climate change okay and for the true context like really look into it do your own research and random but today I going back to the seasonal depression I'm just real foggy in the head because the numbers excuse me the numbers I have been crunching lately getting on my nerves <laughs> I, I, I guess it's a good thing to stay busy but it's like I feel just like I, I just I want the numbers to one day you know, I want to reap what businesses reap. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. And the skill base that I have now, yeah, I'm completely understanding of that. And I pray that I do and am a good steward over what I have now. And with what God has for me moving forward. Because... All of that ties into the gloomy feeling. It's just like, I never feel stagnant because I always feel like I grow in some capacity every day. But I'm still like getting over the food poisoning. So hopefully for the rest of the week, because this is just gonna be the car chronicle part of the vlog. But I am going to be traveling again this weekend, going to an old stomping ground, have some fun, I guess, because I'll be with my brother this time. And this, this truck behind me, he don't know I'm recording, but just know, because he on the bullish right now. We're in a line for food, okay? You don't need to be revving up your car and slamming on your brakes behind me. Okay, don't need to do that. Because I will hop out this car like I have before. Now mind you, I'm, I'm, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. So that makes me want to pop out even more because I am I know I'm covered by the blood. So what's up? All right, like, <laughs> even, you, what's a few, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 like scratches? Stuff like that? What, what is that? Mind you, I know I'm royalty with the kingdom of God. I know that. You know what I'm saying? I completely get that. 
I know I'm not supposed to be touched. That's why I say, again, covered by the blood. But I will hop out this car real quick. Okay? Just let that be known right now. All right? What is the point? You got a souped up, okay, the front is a F-150. The front of the truck is a red F-150. The back is black, plastered. You got a new engine in it. And for what? And mind you, it's a brother of mine. Not literally like a brother, like I'm saying like a brother, right? My people. So I'm not trying to speak ill regards I'm really not but you're not impressing nobody like <laughs> that's just I'm just tired boss I'm, that's what it is I need to I need to get off of here because I'm tired bye so obviously it's a record for incidentals because the Chevy I'm always, 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 almost gonna say the license plate so y'all know, I'm getting to a point. Mind you, I'll let that man wait behind me if you wanna rev up. I'ma put my bag in my little situation slowly. I'm putting my money back in my wallet. I'm zipping up my wallet. I'm putting my stuff back in my purse in an orderly fashion. I'm doing all of that. You waiting for me, cause you behind me, okay? I don't like talking about my brothers and sisters like that, but when y'all annoy me, I'ma tell y'all about yourselves, period. Anyway, I'm at an age where, A, it is an age thing, and B, it's a Holy Spirit thing. Right now, because I know I'm covered, I feel like those times where I told you in a previous vlog where I feel invincible, right? It's just like, y'all don't have the time or place nor nerve to play with me. None of y'all. No demon, no person, no employee, nothing. Y'all don't got time to play with me. I'm not the one, two, and or three, okay? I'm not. Got me completely messed the hell up. Clearly. Because when you, when it's people that's God sent on this planet, when there's people that's trying to teach on this planet still, because I already said this before, I think in writing, that there's going to be a time, but people that literally are trying to help y'all see the word of God and preach the word of God and live, you know, in the ways of him, they're not going to be around teaching they're not going to be around guiding you they're not going to be around trying to help out okay so take heed to the people now the true people okay mess it up today thank you for coming to my ted talk all right bye again We're doing all of the throwbacks. First of all, this is MD 2020. Orange Jubilee, if you will. And my mom, she got me these. Because I'm at my mom's now. Um, got me these cups. So, clink, clink, drink, drink. Cheers. Um, I'm here to do a weekend trip with my brother and his wife and I think my mom's gonna come with me I'm not sure yet because they are an early bird type of married couple they want to do activities and so on to where we're going now where we're going is me and my brother's old stomping grounds and I followed in his footsteps. Mind you, we are nine years apart, but I followed in his footsteps academically going to the same college as he did because I just wanted to be, you know, 
closer to him and when I graduated high school first year I got to college he left for a job opportunity but anyway still fun nonetheless we'll never take it back um it's a whatchamacallit homecoming so it may be the beginning part is part one in this vlog I'm not sure yet and a part two depends on what we all get into okay so all of the following clips from now on is going to be homecoming 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 you ready to have fun come on can you bring this with you too not not the glass the, the empty Okay, so this turned into pre-homecoming at mom's house chronicles so we went out uh because me and my brother both got into town i got here first and then my brother so we're about to grow up on some pizza i got everybody a sheet pizza when i tell you this place has been here pre even before i was born but it is one of the best pizzas that consistently has tasted the same throughout my whole lifetime. And to me, it's very valuable. Just not with nostalgia, because it's going to be a nostalgic type of video, I feel. But just with us growing up here and having pizza nights and so forth. So it's called a sheet pizza, right? It's, you know, where they cut it into squares. I tell you, it's too fire. Let me show you. Now, mind you, they have bigger pizzas than this. If 4, 8, 12, 16, 16 slices of pizza for 16, not even 16, like $13. Sorry, my mom's still downstairs waiting for my brother to get up. But 16 slices, right? For like $13 and then I got a two liter for everybody to partake in too so it total came in to $16 when I tell you they have a 32 slicer who what are we doing you know what I'm saying like at that point it's overzealous it's just okay but as you can see half is black olives half is cheese mind you I'm so sorry about the darkness my mom and I are very ambientic people. So we like the dim. We like, you know, just the warm notes of the light. <laughs> so I set aside the plates here. But I'm about to grow because one thing I do not like. Hold on. One thing I cannot stand is cold food, especially pizza. When I tell you when I pick this thing on up, that's another thing I like about this place. I tell you, it was steaming out the box. What type of pizza shop do you know where they just cut it and it's hot until you get all the way home? Them. Like, they, they, <laughs> no one tops it, in my opinion, because delivery or not, it has always been hot every time. So I'm about to grab. I, I don't know what they do now, sir, but I'm about to grab. We ain't doing the cold pizza today, okay? So, I'm about to call it a night, though, after I eat, and then we're going to commence with the homecoming stuff. Let's do it. <laughs> Good night, y'all.
they're doing a run on that partaking. But I'll get some clips of the green. <laughs> I already know my college is going to lose anyway, so I'm not going to give y'all too much of this footage because no point. Very sad team. Always has been. I'm pretty sure always will be. You never know. We'll see. This used to be my student center. Next to it, beyond here is the library. When I tell you, I went to college in the country. I sure did. Beautiful sight. Oh, look at that. God loves you. Yes, he does. A little recap. I know it's really windy. I'm sorry, but a little recap. And these geese are loud too. We went to the game for a little bit. Went to the bookstore at the student center. Had the parade, as you saw. My brother did a certain thing, marathon, mini marathon, in the morning. That's why I was here for so long. When I tell you I can't hang no more, I can't hang. Them. I thought I was gonna be all vibrant, energetic. I'm ready to go home. It's like, I wanna say like four o'clock. I'm ready to go home. But it has been nice just being able to come back here, see things not change as much and so on. So it's really nice. It don't owe me anything and 
Hopefully I can be back again soon. But per usual, I had to get my walk on. So come with me. If you see that white cloudy looking thing, that's the dome, that's where some sports are played. Um, due to enrollment, it's not that, you know, vibrant as it once was. There's a lot of people just not doing as much as they used to. Let me turn back to where my mom Dukes is, wherever she is. Enrollment's down a lot, as I said, so there is nobody in the student center. There is no food court open. It's very limited, so yeah, this is just a little piece of area that I spent bulk of my time at for one season and just returning back to the old stomping grounds, so. And now my family's looking at me, so, because they don't know I do this really, so. Okay, back to family time. Bye. Photo bomb! <laughs> Photo bomb, you.